Hello, boys and girls. This is Miss Elsa. Today we are doing Wit and Wisdom, okay? So today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. Today you will need a paper, your paper that looks like this. It's in your packet, your worksheet packet. And you're also going to need your blue book, okay? Blue book. All right. For today's lesson, I need you to be a strong speaker, okay? I need to be able to hear you across this computer, all right? And if you'd like to share on Teams, here's a question for you. Here's a little extra. What has been your favorite thing to do at home? You're more than welcome to answer this question through our Teams platform. Okay, boys and girls, so let's get started. What lesson are we doing today? Get ready. Yes, 21, lesson 21. All right, boys and girls, so you know that our big essential question is the question that we need to know at the end of the module. And that question is, why do people admire Cinderella? The content framing question is what we need to know by the end of today. So let's go ahead and echo read that. How does Adelita build my knowledge? Yes. How does Adelita build my knowledge? That's what we're going to learn today. Okay, boys and girls. So let's begin by adding on to, uh, by adding on to our Cinderella Elements chart for the story of Adelita. We've been doing this chart for every other story. If you guys um, see them up there, we have Cinderella, Cindrillion, the rough-faced girl, Bigfoot Cinderella, right there. And now we're adding Adelita. So let me ask you, boys and girls, who are the good characters in Adelita? Get ready. Adelita. And there's one more. We'll add it in a little bit. What is the proof of identity in Adelita? Get ready. Yes, the rebozo. Who or what is the magical element in Adelita? Get ready. Esperanza, right? And she's also one of the good characters. And lastly, who are the evil characters? Get ready. Yes, Doña Micaela, which is the stepmother, and Valentina and Dulce. They are the stepsisters. Good job, boys and girls. I'm so glad you remembered the element for Adelita. Now, Remember, what is the central message of Adelita? What did the author want us to learn from that story? It's on the screen. Good job. Read it. Get ready. Good wins over evil. Yes. Now, today we are going to show what we have learned about Adelita by using our experience cards on your blue book, handout 21B. And they should look like this. So you have 21B, Ella and Adelita. You can pause the video right now so you can go ahead and look for this page. Okay? All right. Now, let's go ahead and sort out the cards. So remember, we're gonna sort details by writing A for Adelita, B for both, or E for Ella on the Experian cards, okay? So let's go ahead and start. I'll read and then you tell me what letter we're gonna put in the card. So the first one, lives in a forest. Was this Ella, was it both, or Adelita? Get ready. Yes, Ella. So let's go ahead and write an E for Ella. Here's the next one has an evil stepmother who is mean to her. Is that Ella, Adelita, or both? Get ready. Yes, both. Remember, Ella also has a mean stepmother. Look at the next one. Lives in Mexico. Who lives in Mexico? Ella, Adelita, or both? Get ready. Yes, Adelita. Make an A for Adelita. Here's the next one. Has to fish for her family. Is that Ella, Adelita, or both? Get ready. Ella. Good job. Make an E for Ella. 
Next one. Goes to a party where she meets a prince. Is that Ella, Adelita, or both? Ella. Yes, remember, Ella meets a prince. Adelita meets Javier. Next one. Get ready. Has to clean and cook for her family. Is that Ella, Adelita, or both? Get ready. Yes, both of them have to cook for their families and they have to clean. Next one. Has a very godfather who uses magic to help her. Is that Ella, Adelita, or both? Get ready. Ella, make an E for Ella. Next one, marries the man. Who marries the man? Ella, Adelita, or both? Get ready. Adelita. Ella Mary marries the Bigfoot prince, okay? But Adelita marries the man. Here's the next one. Has Esperanza who helps her find her mother's rebozo. Ella, Adelita, or both? Get ready. Adelita. Good job, boys and girls. Go ahead and turn your page. And let's continue. Has tangled fur and no nice clothes. Is this Ella, Adelita, or both? Get ready. Ella, make an E anywhere in your box. Good job. Next one, wears nice clothes and a rebozo. Ella, Adelita, or both? Get ready. Yes, Adelita. Next one, dunks the prince into the water at the fun fest. Adelita, Ella, or both? Yes, Ella. Next one, dances with Javier at the fiesta. Adelita, Ella, or both? Get ready. Yes, Adelita dances with Javier. We're almost done, two more. Has a large foot that fits the bark clog. Adelita, Ella, or both? Yes. Ella. And the last one, who wears the rebozo? Ella, Adelita, or both? Get ready. Yes, Adelita. Good job, boys and girls. You can pause the video at this time and make sure that you have your name, date, uh, I'm sorry, your name, last name, and date, okay? Now, you can go ahead and put your blue book away. You won't need it anymore. And let's continue. So now let's review what we have learned. What did you learn about comparing Cinderella's characters' experiences? So remember, we've already read different Cinderella stories. And what have we learned about them? I'll give you one minute to think about it. Or you can put pause and think for a bit. What have we learned about Cinderellian, Cinderella, Bigfoot, Cinderella, I love the way how all of you are thinking. Yes, so we know that there are a lot of similarities between Cinderella's characters, but each Cinderella story has differences too. Versions can have different names for clothes, food, and buildings in another language. Different Cinderella stories happen in different places. And people admire the Cinderella character because she is hardworking and kind. Good job, boys and girls. Now, our launch craft question. How do introductions work in an opinion paragraph? Let's see if you remember the two ways that we learn to write introductions. Who can say the two ways? Yes, I know everybody can. Let's all say them together. We can use the title of story in the introduction and or we can use details from the story in the introduction. Good job, boys and girls. And remember that an introduction introduces the topic. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and read the paragraph on handout 21C. You're going to find this in your packet, okay? And in the bottom, it says there are 21C. So at this time, you can pause your video so you can look for your page and then go ahead and press play again, okay? And what I'm going to read, so my screen has this paragraph. So follow along with me in your packet, okay? Finger under the first word. And it says, in my opinion, the rebozo is the best proof of identity. Javier saw the rebozo hanging in the window. He knew the girl was in the house. This is why the rebozo is the best proof of identity. Now remember, one way to write an introduction is to include the title of the story, and another way is to include the details from the story. Here are some sentence starters for this paragraph. Uh, let's go ahead and read the sentence starters together. Let's choral read. Remember, for uh, a line, we say blank. Let's read the first one. Get ready. We read the story blank. Next one. Get ready. Blank is the proof of identity in blank. Boys and girls, what should we put in the first blank? Get ready. Yes, Adelita. Let's read it with Adelita. Get ready. We read the story, Adelita. What words should we add to create an introduction sentence for the bottom sentence starter? Think about it. Blank is the proof of identity in blank. Remember, what is a paragraph talking about? Yes, Reboso and Adelita. Let's read the second sentence starter. Start with the rebozo. Get ready. The rebozo is the proof of identity in Adelita. Good job, boys and girls, writing your introduction or saying your introduction. Your exit ticket is going to be to write your introduction to the opinion paragraph on your worksheet. Use the sentence starters that I just provided. Take a picture and send to me for a grade. Okay, so you have that page. You're going to write your sentence starters here in these lines. And I just told you guys the answers to your sentence starters. Just make sure you guys transfer them over to this paper, take a picture, and upload it to me for a grade. Okay? Now, let's go into our deep dive. It says, what kind of words need to start with a capital letter? Think about it. If you have somebody there with you, you can share with them. What kind of words need a capital letter? Yes, names of people, places, or things, the first word of a sentence, the names of the days of the week, and months of the year. Also, the word I. Okay, so let's practice together on your handout, module four, Lesson 21. So that is in your same paper with the rebozo. You just turn it over and that's where it is. Okay? So you can go ahead and put pause in the video and I'll give you a couple of seconds to get this page. I want you also to write your first name, last name, and the date. When you are done, you can press play again. Okay. So let's read each sentence, boys and girls. We're going to shade in the happy face if the sentence has all the correct capitalization. We're going to color or shade in the sad face if the sentence is missing the correct capitalization. The sentences are about the story Adelita. Okay? So, everybody, let's go ahead and choral read the sentences. Get ready. Francisco and Adela were husband and wife. So Francisco and Adela were husband and wife. Are the sentences correctly capitalized? We have two names. Are they capitalized? Yes. So let's go ahead and shade in our happy face. Here's the next one, number two. Let's choral read. Get ready. They had a beautiful baby girl named Adelita. What needs to be capitalized there? Adelita, so is this a happy face or a sad face? A sad face. They forgot 
to capitalize Adelita. Okay? Number three. Let's read. Get ready. Valentina and Dulce were mean to Adelita. There's two names, three names there, and all of them capitalized? No. So is this a happy face or a sad face? Sad face. Yes. We need to make sure to capitalize Adelita and Dulce. Good job, boys and girls. We're almost done. Number four. Let's all coral read. Get ready. Esperanza had to leave the household. That sentence looks correct to me. Is the name capitalized? Yes. So let's go ahead and shade in our happy face. Okay. Number five. Let's read it. Get ready. Esperanza helped Adelita go to the fiesta. Uh-oh. There's a name there and we're beginning a sentence. Is that capitalized? No. So is that a happy face or a sad face? Sad-faced. Yes. Esperanza needs to be capitalized because it's a name and it starts the sentence. Number six. Get ready. Javier fell in love with Adelita. Is that correct? Yes. Both names are capitalized. So it is a happy face. Number seven, let's read it. Get ready. Adelita hung her rebozo out the window. We have a name and the starting of the sentence. Is that a good sentence or a bad sentence? Bad sentence, right? So we're gonna shade in our sad face. Adelita needs to be capitalized because it is the name of the person and we're starting the sentence. And the last one, boys and girls, let's read it. Get ready. Javier and Adelita lived happily ever after. Two names there, and they're capitalized. So is that a good sentence or a bad sentence? Good sentence. So let's go ahead and shade in our happy face. All right, boys and girls, so you guys can go ahead and put this paper away. So boys and girls, that is the end of today's lesson. Make sure and you guys don't forget to turn in your exit ticket and submit it to our Wit and Wisdom forms uh, page on Teams. Okay, bye.